This is Shoot Steel with HackingJungle.com. Today we're going to uh, flash an 8300 series light on drive with iPrep. The first thing uh, you're going to notice, uh, we have the drive hooked up to our computer with the uh, SATA to our via card. Uh, we're powering uh, the drive with CK3, uh, uh, the Executor CK3 Pro. And uh, so I have that all hooked up right now. Not powered on. Not powered on. Uh, after I get that uh, hooked up, I'm going to launch iPrep. And you're going you're to see here the source firmwares we're going to uh, be doing the light on 8300. If you want to uh, uh, flash 8300, you have to load. Navigate to where your uh, your firmware is. Select it. Press open. It'll load the firmware. It, you can see it's connected my via RAID controller. Uh, COM port's not necessary. We're not using a COM. Uh, target device, not your C drive. The drop down is your removable thumb drive. Uh, mine happens to be 250 megabytes. I'm going to select the box to make it uh, bootable, format it in FAT32, and I'm going to press start. iCraft at this point will automatically uh, make your drive bootable uh, for its purposes. So I'm going to reboot my PC, press that, select that button right in the middle. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now for me, the F12 button will get me to my boot menu. It might be different for uh, everyone else, but mine just happens to be F12. So I'm going to wait until I see it start up again and get to my boot menu. Go down to my flash drive. Press enter. And then it's a little legalese here. And, uh, we're just going to press yes which will bring us to uh, this command page. I'm Now at this point, I'm going to cut on my CK3 Pro, eject my drive, cut the power off. I'm going to slide my drive back in so it's extended about two inches. And I'm going to be now type in L, 8-3 space. Now, after these spaces, we're going to ask for uh, seven digits, space, five digits. It should be your serial number on the back of your Xbox. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, space, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to hit enter. Now it wants us to turn the drive on, so I will turn the drive on on the CK3 Pro and make sure the drive is ejected about two inches. All right, ask you the same thing, and yes, that I'm ready. Okay. Now it wants me to close my drive. I'm going to use my CK3 Pro to press the eject button. It'll suck the drive in. Then I'm going to press the button again, and it'll check the uh, tray. And then it's going to say, uh, press yes, if you're ready. What it means is, hit Y, and then enter. Now, what it wants us to do here is to cut our drive off. Press it in a slightly more than halfway. Cut it back on. And now, Y enter. Step two, we're going to again use our CK3 Pro, press the, pressing the button, suck the drive in, close it, press the button again, eject the drive, and now it's done that, press Y, enter, we're ready. Now, it's, now we're going to look at this DVD key. And we're going to say, hey, is this uh, a random uh, mix of letters and numbers? If it looks like a random mix of letters and numbers, then you probably have a good key at this point. So now we're going to press Y. 
and it's going to tell us success. Press the any key once again. I want to erase my drive. Yes. Wants me to close my drive. I will hit the eject button, close my drive, and press any key. Turn your drive off, then back on, and press any key. As you can see right now, it's writing your bank 0, 1, 2, and 3. And once you see the C prompt come up and flashing, you know you've uh, done the, uh, the process correctly. I want to thank Clutch for providing us with iPrep and uh, HackingJungle.com for giving us this venue. Have a good day.